call it the butter tree, but you won't get any butter from this. Sometimes called the wild grape tree, but I would very strongly advise against eating its fruit. I call it Siphostema curori. How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. This is another in my ongoing series on notable trees of the African bush. I am in Namibia. I'm not actually out in the bush. I'm at the beautiful botanical garden at the National Botanical Research Institute. And I'm looking at this tree because it's a very remarkable tree that you don't get anywhere around my home area of Zimbabwe. It's endemic to northern Namibia and southern Angola, particularly associated with the Brandberg mountain range, which is the highest mountains in Namibia, rising up to two and a half thousand meters. Uh, and it is the tallest tree up to about seven meters um, in its genus. It's a pachycol succulent, as you can see, uh, the stem is built for storing water. Uh, trifoliate, um, very large leaves. These leaves are adept at storing water because it does grow in very dry areas. So it's well adapted. Not a lot of ethnobotanic uses for this, although the uh, bark is sometimes uh, peeled off and used to carry honeycombs by some uh, people. Also, the sap is used to treat scabies in livestock and some skin conditions um, in humans. I'd like to uh, look into that more. I don't know much about that. It is in the Vitaceae family, so it's a relative of the grape, hence the name wild grape. The berries, however, you cannot eat them. They uh, constrict your throat and make it very hard for you to breathe. It's a bit of a sort of allergic reaction to it. Uh, which most people seem to suffer. So I would definitely not recommend that you use its uh, common name, a wild grape, as a justification for munching on those berries, because I promise you, you'll regret it. But it's a pretty spectacular tree. Um, I particularly love these very large trifoliate leaf arrangement. Uh, you don't often see trifoliate leaves that big. It's, it's cool. And of course, I just love the fact that here I am in Namibia, in Vintuk, the capital city, and I'm able to see this um, because I wouldn't have otherwise had a chance to get up to northern Namibia to the Brandberg to see them in its native environment. So, yeah, super excited, and I'm off to go check out some other trees here in this magnificent botanical garden, but had to share this one with you while I was here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, two things you could do. One is come to Namibia and come and check it out for yourself. The other one is just go to my YouTube channel. There's plenty more on it. Facebook and Instagram, just type in African Plant Hunter and you'll see lots of other videos about amazing trees and plants of Southern Africa. All right, guys, I'm off to go look elsewhere in this botanical garden. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.